What is service function chaining? Service function chaining, SFC, is the ability to cause network packet flows to be routed through the network via a path other than the basic destination-based forwarding, which is typical of IP-based networks. This mechanism can be used to enforce policies, perform security functions, and other broad range of features for selective packet handling in a network. Service functions such as packet filtering at firewalls, load balancing, and others have been widely utilized in the delivery of services to end users. With the introduction of virtualization, the delivery of such a services is undergoing a significant change. SFC can be used in the context of network function virtualization, NFV, where virtual network functions, VNFs, replace the traditional physical network devices, like firewalls and load balancers, to offer end-to-end -end services. A typical service function chain applied to an end-to-end -end service looks like the following diagram. At the edge, it comprises multiple entities to perform packet classification by matching traffic flows against policies for subsequent application of the required set of network service functions. The policy may be customer, network, or service specific. As a result of classification, the traffic is steered through service functions, in this case, the firewall, antivirus, parental control, and video optimizer for specific treatment of received packets. A service function chain refers to an ordered set of these abstract service functions that must be applied to the traffic. The software-defined network infrastructure provides service function forwarders that are responsible for forwarding traffic to one or more of the connected service functions as well as handling traffic processed by service functions. Effectively, we have a composite service offering provided by an operator that is delivered using one or more service functions as per the service level agreement. How is SFC implemented using Open Daylight? The service function chaining project in Open Daylight provides the network operators with an end user application via the Open Daylight Northbound REST APIs. Using these services, network operators may create, update, and delete service function chains and thereby steer traffic through those service functions. It may also be used to specify the exchange of metadata with network and service nodes in a service path. Operators can easily take benefits of service insertion capability to add or modify new services. The user-facing service chaining application would allow users to define note attributes for managing classifiers, forwarders, and service functions associated with defined service types, service chains, and service paths. The service chain or path definition is sent via REST API to Open Daylight Service Chaining application. The service chaining application will then dynamically select the specific service instances required to satisfy the service chain requirements. Additionally, policy metadata can be passed for delivery along the service chain. Service chaining is transport independent and leverages available overlay transports. LISP or OVS. The data plane is accomplished via SFC encapsulation, for example, using network service header encapsulations. The SFC user interface provides a very easy to use graphical view of configuration of rendered service paths, service chains, and service functions. The user interface uses templates, allows copying and replicating configuration bulk edits and has built-in diagnostics to monitor the node states and easy access to CoreOff logs. Additionally, SFC services can be leveraged by integrations with other supported projects such as OpenStack. Leave the network complexity to us and build from a solid foundation. It will make a difference. For more on open networking, visit us at www.inasype.com.